Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit. Uh, today we'll talk about the COE Center of Excellence. Uh, last few days we were talking about that HRSD. Uh, so this is the third session where we are going to talk about the COE. So last two days we talked about that what is the HRSD and then we talk about that what are the plugins you need to be installed to see all the modules in the HRSD. Today we'll talk about that COE. This topic is very important and this is the conceptual topic. I hope you guys understand this topic. If you don't understand, please uh, put in the comment sections because this COE is a very important. This COE is used in all over your HRSD module. So it is very important to understand the COE. So without wasting time, let's get started. So what is the uh, COE? COE is a conceptual model. So it is helped to organize HR data service and process by financial discipline with the HR center of excellence data model. Each HR center of excellence is an extension of the HR case. So to understand better in a COE, so let's we have to check this image. So if you see here in the top, we say the center of excellence. So whenever, uh, I, as I mentioned that, it is the extension of the HR case. So if you see here, let's take example COE or the HR case. And this COE have right now, they have the seven branches we have. And combination of all the seven branches, we call the COE. COE is a nothing but in a simple language, COE is a, a table which is a kind of table which is extending to the HR case. Uh, code case table so HR employee relationship which is going to be extend from our HR code case table life cycle even which is also going to be extended from HR code case table so from the HR code case table we have uh, extended seven tables and these seven tables are the seven seven uh, seven COE this seven COE uh, represent that what type of issue or what type of um, the challenges employer facing based on that uh, once you select the COE based on that we can categorize and we can uh, put to the right table so if you are facing some payroll issue that your COE will be HR payroll and the data will be go to that say SN underscore code underscore HR payroll table it so that payroll details cannot be uh, visible to the employer relationship H, uh, HR lifecycle event related issue cannot be visible to the payroll table so though those although they are the same table SN code case table but these are the child table from the SN code case table so layman language SN code case table is the parent table and the seven table is the child table each table we call a COE or central of excellence so if you see here uh, we have to be understands the categories and extra services also so top level or you can see the top we can say the COE let's say our COE is a total reward so we talk about the seven COE here so one of the seven uh, uh, COE is the HR total rewards so this COE is available here so if you see those so let's take example of our uh, COE is the total rewards and there are others couple of so if you see the employee relationship workforce administration payroll HR uh, IT operation they they all are COE so let's take example of total rewards in the total rewards so this is the bigger picture in that we have categorized the total rewards to the benefits compensation lips so we categorize this uh, COE into the multiple sector so that in the next future our uh, reporting purpose we can get the bigger picture we can say that in which sector which category um, our case are going so in that case for the category purpose or categorization purpose we are using that uh, you know COE topic category and then under the topic category we have a topic details and the topic details is a further categorization of this all this top category so if you see here uh, retirement plans which is part of the benefits medical benefits which is part of this uh, you know uh, the benefits okay and then if you see that if you see here continue education which is part of this benefit so these benefits it's segregated in a small small part and then they are showing as a um uh, you know just a breakdown of this uh, coe and then finally hr service which is a very low level statement that let's take example 401k in um enrollment hsa inquiry tuition reimbursement so this is the very low level so in the top you have a one one coe in that coe we have a topic category and the topic category have a topic detail 
and then uh, these have the HR services. So this is a very important topic because these terms are going to be used in a, all our HRSD uh, platform. So you have to be understand that what is the topic category, what is the topic details and HR services. So in a HR service, you can say the lay lemon uh, statement. So this is the final conclusion. So if you have it, so if you have if you have a seven COE, in the seven COE you have a um, hundred of topic category. The hundred of topic category have a thousand of topic details and thousand of topic details have a uh, uh, you know ten thousand of HR services. So this is the breakdown of this one. So when you go to that, uh, when you report that will know that for which COE is mostly impacted. So the last is the configuration, COE configuration. So in the service now, as I mentioned that there are seven COE is available right now. You can enable or disable uh, 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 any COE, but disabling the COE is, uh, will disable the services, topic details, and then category record producer and the related module. But as I mentioned, these are the basically extended table. The table will be remain same and you will be able to remain see the data. Uh, there won't be any new data will be inserted inside this table. So let's flip to the service now and see how that COE configuration can be done. So if you see that this is the COE configuration we can do so this way. So if I go back to my service now instance, this is my service now instance and if you type that COE configuration, so the first module will come up the COE configuration and here all the COE available, uh, you can see um, these are the COE is available right now. You can turn off any of this COE and then uh, again if you turn off all the uh, topic category and then topic um, details will be visible. But the backend table will be present. Uh, so let's turn off one of the COE. So this way you can just turn off and then click the save button. So it will simply save, uh, simply uh, turn off your that particular COE. Also, if you type that topic uh, a category and topic details, if you see here, so this is the topic category module is available. And here right now I have the 12 topic categories and each topic category have, uh, you know, topic details, which is the 30. So you understand that the um, COI is a seven, then it increases the topic category and then it's further breakdown and showing that topic details. And if you type the HR service, it will be more, uh, uh, more than that. So if you go here and then um, HS service configuration, so you can see that it's 48 right now. So this way you can say that, you know, it's keep on increasing that side, uh, you know, um, the, so in this way it is keep on increasing the categorization. So if I uh, type that topic here and then open the topic category, each topic category is associated with the COE. So if I group by with the COE, you will be able to see the multiple COE have that. So seven COE have uh, further categorization. So some COE have two categorization, some COE have one categorization. For actual real implementation, there will be a lot more. Um, but yeah, so this is the way they have categorized. So that's it for today. Uh, We'll talk in next video uh, furthermore how we can create the case, what are the roles are required for that. I hope you guys uh, uh, like my video. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. And in the time, like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a great day.